Hello everyone and welcome to Talent Sprint. Our discussion in this session is going to be on a very fundamental topic from mathematics and this topic is algebra. But before we go ahead and discuss anything about algebra, let me ask you a very simple question. What is the formula for simple interest? How do we calculate or how do we measure simple interest? I'm sure all of you know the answer for this question. Right? Simple interest is equal to P into T into R by 100 or simply PTR by 100 where P is the principal amount, T is the time period and R is the rate of interest. So simple interest can be calculated as PTR by 100. Now what does this mean? The amount that has been given as a loan is P. Right? P denotes the amount that has been given as a loan. What is T? T is the time period for which the amount has been given as a loan and R is the rate of interest at which the amount P has been given as a loan for a time period of T years. Now if you really look at it, does it make any sense? What do you mean by the amount P? Is P really an amount? Can I say that I have given you P rupees or for a time period of T years? Or for that matter, the rate of interest is R percent per annum. Well, as I've said, this doesn't really make a sense. It has to be some numerical value, right? P should be some numerical value. R has to be some numerical value. For example, 5 percent per annum or 10 percent per annum or 12 percent per annum. T is the number of years, but T years, no. It should be 1 year or 2 years or maybe 5 years and so on. And same goes the case with P, principal amount, 10,000 rupees or 20,000 rupees or 2 lakh rupees. But why do we say P, T and R? Well, this is what is algebra. In mathematics, very often the value, the numerical value of a given parameter is unknown. Right here, we do not know what the principle is or maybe let's say we do not know what the time period or the rate of interest is. So in such cases, the unknown value is represented using a symbol, it's generally a letter of the English alphabet, right? We usually use X or Y, but we can use any letter, right? So when the value of a given parameter is unknown, we use a symbol or a letter to represent that unknown number. And such letters or such symbols are known as variables, right? It is an unknown or generally called as a variable. And algebra is a branch of mathematics which deals with such variables, right? In algebra, we simply use uh, symbols or letters to represent unknown numbers in formulae or in equations. So in this topic of algebra, we are going to deal with such variables and its usage, right? Well, coming to the application of algebra, as a Given an example, it is used in almost every topic of quantitative aptitude, right? Or let's say arithmetic aptitude. Well, you might be wondering, how is it used everywhere? Well, without our knowledge, we actually end up using different variables in every topic of arithmetic aptitude. Like in the case of simple interest, we say P, T and R. Or let's, let's talk about time and distance. What is the formula for speed? You will say S equals to D by T where d is the distance traveled and t is the time for which uh, the distance is covered. Well, is the distance really d? Can you say the distance traveled is d? No, it has to be some numerical value or the time is t. So this is algebra, right? We use algebra everywhere, right? Not just in mathematics, but also in other sciences. Algebra is used. We always use some letter or some symbol to denote a particular number, which is unknown, let's say, right? So that's the precise or simple uh, definition of algebra. It is simply a branch of mathematics or it is a kind of mathematics where we use different symbols to represent unknown numbers. Now before we go ahead and discuss about various formulae and the different types of questions, let us understand a few important terms uh, that are used in algebra. Well, this may not really be required from the examination point of view, but it's always good to know a few things, right? So let's understand algebra. Now, as I've said, we have something called as variable. What is a variable? A variable is a symbol, right? A symbol or a letter 
which is used to denote an unknown number it represents an unknown number or an unknown value right so that's a variable so we can say you know to take an example x generally we use x right the most commonly used variable is x right or it can be any other letter we can say y or a or b or for that matter any symbol right let's say dollar right this is like a variable if you understand right it's, it's just a symbol right or if i say you know i can use the symbol of copyright so a variable is nothing but a symbol which is used to represent a number all right now what is meant by a term right generally we you know always talk about terms when we uh, solve questions from algebra so what is a term well a term is nothing but a variable right it can be a variable or it can be some number or a combination of both variables and numbers right we generally use this uh, word term right when we discuss about equations or expressions right the first term second term or the number of terms so what is the term it is a variable or a number or a combination of uh, variables and numbers for example you know this is a term x is a term right or for that matter a number any number let's say 4 4 is also a term right in a given expression when we have uh, such different variables and constants used or it can be a combination of uh, both variables and numbers like for example 7y 7y is a term right that's like a term right or or let's say you know 3x squared this is one of the terms so a term is a variable or a number uh, which is used in a given expression right now coming to expression let's say what is an expression what is an expression 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 is a combination of terms right expression is a combination of terms using different uh, you know mathematical operators like plus minus you know multiplication or division signs here for example uh, a simple expression is as follows right 3x squared plus let's say 4x plus uh, 9 equals to or let's let's not say equal to 0 it is 3x squared plus 4x plus 9 so that's an expression right it is a collection of terms right there are three terms here 3x squared is one of the terms 4x is a second term 9 is also a term right as i said a term can be a number it can simply be a number there so if we have got three terms here 3x squared 4x and 9 so such a collection of terms is called an expression right now generally we use polynomial i mean this can be called as a polynomial what is a polynomial it's nothing but a collection of terms right expression or a polynomial right so uh, polynomial and if you try to understand uh, the word poly right what is poly poly means many right the root poly means many so a polynomial is a collection of more than two terms right a collection of more than two terms again you know we can classify it into uh, different forms for example let's say you know there's only a single term that's called a monomial right a, a single term there's just one single term there it can be x or it can be simply a number 4 or it can be 7y right that's called a monomial then there's something called a binomial what is a binomial now binomial again is a commonly used uh, you know terminology in mathematics so binomial two terms by two terms right then we have something called as trinomial three terms and you know uh, and so on but in general polynomial polynomial is a collection of terms right more than two terms so this can be called as a polynomial right 3x squared plus 4x plus 9 so a polynomial has got numbers it has got variables it has got exponents what are exponents exponents are nothing but power like x squared x to the power of 2 so a polynomial is a collection of numbers and terms and exponents and so on all right so if, if i have to take another example let's say we can say you know 6x to the power of 4 plus uh 4 x cube plus 9 x squared plus 3 x plus 18 well that's a polynomial right if we have got different terms here 6 x power 4 plus 4 x cube plus 9 x squared or maybe one or two of them are with a negative sign right let's say this is also a negative sign so 6 x power 4 minus 4 x cube plus 9 x squared minus 3 x plus 18 so that's collection of terms we have got numbers we have got variables right we have got exponents x power 4 x cube x square and so on so that's called a polynomial right now then there's something called a degree what is meant by degree degree of a polynomial right degree of a polynomial 
what is degree of a polynomial well if you if you look at this particular polynomial here we have got different exponents x power 4 x cube 9 x squared 3x now the highest power of the different exponents that we have in the given polynomial is called the degree of the polynomial for example the power of x here is 1 the power of x here is 2 here it is 3 and here we have got 4 the power is 4 so the highest power is the degree of that polynomial so we can say this is a fourth degree polynomial right this is a fourth degree polynomial if this term 4x uh, 6x power 4 is not there then we have only 4x cube plus 9x square minus 3x plus 18 this is a third degree polynomial right if you don't have x power 4 then it becomes a third degree polynomial so the highest power of the given polynomial or of the given exponents in the polynomial is the degree of the polynomial so simply uh, the highest power there I think we have covered uh, these uh, basic definitions also in the topic of equations. You can refer the same for in detailed explanation about such things, right? So, highest power in the given polynomial is called the degree of the polynomial. So, when we say there is a fourth degree polynomial, it, it is clear that the variable has got power 4. The highest power there is 4, alright? So, that is about uh, a few terms there, right? Variable and term impact, expression or polynomial and degree. And then we also talk about coefficient. What is meant by a coefficient? A coefficient is uh, something which is uh, along with the uh, variable, right? Which is multiplied with the variable. For example, if you look at this, right? What is the coefficient of x squared? It is 3. What is the coefficient of x? 4 plus 4 plus 3. What is the coefficient of x cube? Minus 4. What is the coefficient of x? minus 3. Coefficient of x squared is 9, right? So, in simple words, a coefficient. What is a coefficient? It is a number in a given algebraic term, right? Uh, the number, the constant value. It can be a positive or a negative number, right? It can be a positive or a negative number in the algebraic term, right? Now, what is the term? These are terms, right? These are the examples of term, right? It can be a variable or a number. So, in this algebraic term, x, what is the coefficient? It is 1. In this algebraic term here, 7y, what is the coefficient? 7. It can be minus 7. If it is minus 7, then we say the coefficient is minus 7. In this algebraic term, what is the coefficient? 3. Alright? So, degree is the highest power in the given polynomial and coefficient is the number that is there in each of the algebraic terms. So, this is what shows the basic definition of a polynomial, right? It is just a collection of terms, collection of different algebraic terms. Now, before we move ahead, let us also understand what cannot be a polynomial. There are some restrictions when it comes uh, to a polynomial, right? If you see, we have taken different examples here, but then there are certain things which have to be followed uh, in case of a polynomial. For example, the power of any variable in a polynomial should never be negative or fractional, right? Polynomial uh, does not consist of fractional or negative powers. For example, uh, let's say 3 by x plus 2. This is not a polynomial. Why? We have got x in the denominator. x in the denominator. So, when it is taken to the numerator, going by the laws of exponents, laws of indices, right? What happens? This, is, this becomes 3x power minus 1 plus 2. And since it has got a negative power, it cannot be considered as a polynomial. Likewise, if it has got fractional powers or let's say if it has got thirds, thirds in terms of variables, then it cannot be considered as a polynomial. For example, let's say 3 root x plus x cube plus 4. Now, this is again not a polynomial. Why? We have got a fractional power. Root x is nothing but x power 1 by 2. Or let's say we have got fifth root of x. It becomes x power 1 by 5. But a polynomial does not consist of fractional powers. So, hence, even this is ruled out uh, in terms of polynomial. And what else? It cannot have uh, variables in the division there, in the denominator, right? For example, let's say, you know, 4 divided by x plus 2 plus, you know, some other terms there. This again cannot be considered as a polynomial. What is the reason? x is in the denominator, right? It cannot come in the denominator in case of a polynomial, right? So, basically these are some restrictions, right? It should not have negative or fractional powers and it should not come under uh, division. We can have, uh, you know, a numerical value in the denominator. That should be okay. But we cannot have a variable in the denominator, right? And, and also when it comes to search, it can have uh, 
you know irrational number but it cannot have a third in the form of a variable for example if, if i have an expression let's say if you look at this polynomial 6x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 9x squared minus 3x plus 18 plus root 5 this should be okay this is a polynomial because this is a constant i mean this is a numerical value but it cannot have root x all right so don't don't get confused here it cannot have thirds in terms of variables it can have thirds in terms of numbers there all right so with this, we finish the basic introduction to algebra.